Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're going to take a look at triggering animations using Playmaker. So we're gonna trigger animations for both idle and our walk sequence. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we're back in Unity, and I have my character moving left and right using the get axis. And then I also have the character flipping based off of what that X value is. Now, the next thing I need to do is to actually animate. So I currently have the player already animated. So if I look in my animation, you can see that I have a robot idle and it's just the head moving up and down. And then I also have a robot move, which is the character walking. It's a very simple walk sequence. And these are called robot move and robot idle. So if we look at the animator, I have both of those animations in the animator. So let's go ahead and set this up real quick. Let's go ahead and go into my player and playmaker. So we're gonna add this new FSM. We're gonna go ahead and label this as player animator. Now that I have that set up, I need to go ahead and set up two states here. One where the character is moving, and one where the character is not. So the very first state, we want that to be idle. So I'm gonna go idle, and then I'm gonna create a new state. I'm gonna have this be move. Cool, so I have those two set up. All right, now what is it we wanna do? One is I want to play the idle animation when I'm in the idle state. And I wanna play the move animation when I'm in the move state. So let's go ahead and set that up with our animator. So if we look in animator, you can see that there is an option called animator play. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And we want to play the owner. And then we need those animations names. So we have robot idle and robot move. So I'm gonna go ahead and in idle, I wanna play the robot idle. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this over into move. And then we're gonna change this from robot idle to robot move. Cool, so now that those will switch the animation, but we need to be able to get from one of these states to the other. So how are we gonna do that? One, we currently have X move as our variable that's getting the access information, which direction we're moving, how fast we're moving, etc. We're gonna go ahead and use that. So what we're gonna do, that is a float variable. So we're gonna do a float compare. And what is it we wanna compare? Well, we wanna compare our X move. So we have this global variable called X move, and I wanna compare it to zero. If we're in the idle state, if we're moving, our X move is going to be either greater or lesser than zero. So we have the option of less than or greater than. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new event. One is called move. And then we wanna go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna do that for both of these. We're gonna take that transition over into move. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with move. So we're gonna go ahead and do a float compare. We're gonna add this. I'm gonna remove those transitions. So we want none here in the lesser and greater than. If our X move is zero, that means our character is not moving, we wanna play the idle state. So here we want to compare zero. If it equals zero, then we wanna go ahead and add a new event called idle. And we're gonna add that transition and go back to our idle state. So the two differences are here we're going and we're playing the animation of robot idle and we wanna do this every frame. We're comparing if that X move is greater or lesser than zero then go to the move state. Over here in our move state, we are playing the move animation Then we also need to check every frame on our float compare. If our X move is zero, then we wanna go back to the idle state. So let's go ahead and give this a test and see if it works. So here our character is in the idle state. So if I move my character, Boom, there we're in our run state. And if I stop, we're in back in our idle state. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you can use this for your game. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.